sake of the set, uh, I'm just gonna make the, the 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 decision to call him Yoshi instead. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a good one though because Sinister I think has been it's been on the rise. Definitely was not seated to make it this far. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, was seated to lose to Swigzy, but instead made the upset in the round two with that Steve pick and has now been running it all the way here to qualify for winner side top eight versus... Okay, wait, who, who, whose shark account is this? Hold on. Wait, this Did might you... be a Mente. Yeah, a Mente. A oh, it's a Monte. Oh, it's a Monte. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, a Monte. <laughs> One of the best Yoshis online, I'm pretty sure. Like, he's... He, he might be the best, except for like, I guess, Mei Mei or something like that. He, or wait, I'm probably forgetting a few, but either there's way- a, There's another, I forgot their name, but is it Gay? What's your name? It's like a Yoshi that's been also popping off a lot, getting names off of character players such as like Sharp, Epic Gabriel, Meister oh. as well. I don't, I, yeah, I'm unfortunately sure. I don't remember the exact name, but I'm pretty sure Monte is definitely up there when yeah, it comes down to how well they've been. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a really good set then between Amante and Sinister. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The the the, uh, the dinosaur who eats, eats the crayons versus the character that builds them. Let's get into it, folks. And already going to be taken off to this wide stage. Number one thing when it comes down to the matchup that we might be seeing, of course, we're going to be seeing up those walls, but in general, we're going to be seeing those aerial approaches from Amante. In some ways, that Steve likes to force those aerial approaches with those walls, but Yoshi's still loving those aerial approaches, so it's not any sort of change with them. They'll just be putting up that walls and staying up that pressure anyway. Definitely, man. I think, I think another thing that we're seeing, too, is how despite the wall, it's just, it, it, I think we're seeing Sinister use some very creative walling, and that's another reason why Amante's been getting in so well so so far, you know? You see that he's going for two blocks on the bottom and then slightly higher two blocks to the left, and that doesn't stop Yoshi from being able to jump over that, because he has such a big jump, just like you outlined. But right now, what we should be outlining, it's a potential situation for Amante to get the kill, only for Sinister to reverse it on him. Now has Yoshi on the ledge, and Steve on the ledge, he's got some trips tricks but no tricks this time amante makes it back to center just fine yeah if you've ever seen like yanni on twitch how they well twitter or twitch how they've been popping off with a lot yeah. of these setups that steve just has when it comes out of the pressing ledge pressing those shield options steve just has so much to work with when it comes down to it and you've got to be you have to you're not Ooh. creative mode you're on a flat hardcore when it comes down to this character they're gonna be taking that stock off maybe we're no longer in hardcore we're in just in survival <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, man, maybe. But either way, man, Sinister is showing that he's getting, he might be in creative mode with that setup, man, using that uh, last few frames of the minecart to find the F smash. But now, Amante is going to try to put himself in creative mode with all these combos, only to get pressured by that up tilt, getting out of it just fine, though. And man, Amante is playing this rip stock really nicely, staying away from the crazy Steve damage and just throwing back the eggs. Trying to make Sinister question what to do when it's working. If, if Steve, I'm just gonna say, with the way that Amante is playing, if Steve's in creative mode, Amante's in game mode three, which is yeah. another form of God mode with getting these type of stops. Just absolutely floating and coming in the total type of positions. Sinister maybe needs to live up to their name and invoke a sense of fear into Amante, as it's yeah. going right now, they're not living too much off that name. No, man, definitely, Damonte is definitely showing that he is not scared. He knows how to beat these thieves through and through, and Sinister right now is just the next one on the chopping block. Always getting in on these mining advantages and never really getting punished, never overextending, just going for the consistent throw to the shield, just trying to get something safe, and then getting his damage and getting out. That's what he will continue to do as he will get grabbed now, but still making it back to fine, man. Sinister just... This game plan from Sinister of just mine, run away, mine, run away, just the typical Steve plan, is not working out for him. He hasn't utilized enough of the other crazy tools that Steve has. Well, that down here going to connect, maybe a little bit crazy there, but not crazy enough to take the stock of Monte, still running away with it. And another thing that I haven't seen Sinister literally use at all is that up smash, that, like, uh, that absolutely potent anti- Okay, finally seeing it there. But like, yeah. it's just a potent anti-air tool, especially when it comes to setting up those walls for mining. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised they haven't really been utilizing that. A lot of times they've been going with those type of up-air setups, but they just Ooh. send themselves net into it and gonna be landing onto it. Might have an anvil of their own. That's on Yoshi's butt when it comes down to it. Yeah, it is, man. Kit using the boot, the Yoshi boot. Clean and simple. Monte goes up one game, and I think, I think for the most part, 
I think Amante played that really nicely, but I feel like some of the blame also kind of has to go to Sinister. A lot of the plays that he were making were predictable and a little bit repetitive even. Like you, like you said, we didn't see many things like the anti-airs, which are really good against Yoshi, with the up smashers, maybe because of the armor, maybe just because of, you know, not too much confidence, but either way, we didn't see enough of that. We also didn't see enough uh, enough Steve up tilts, you know? We didn't see the crazy, um, combo damage that Steve can do. We didn't see any jab combos. We didn't see any grab combos. We didn't see any combos whatsoever, feels like. We just kind of saw the raw smash attacks and the mine run away, which Amante was ready for. And it's why he got that consistent two stock to take it out. We're gonna have to see so many adap adaptions from Sinister if we're gonna, gonna see this set go into his favor. But either way, the stage will as he has the counter pick. Yeah, absolutely. You do have to find some sort of change here. When it comes okay. down to it, perhaps it's a gameplay area, but perhaps say like, yeah, maybe I need to throw out those anti-airs better. But gonna be going back to Pokemon Stadium with how that last game goes, I probably would have gone to a different stage or something like that. Yeah, no, I think I think so, but I don't. I, I think he could have. He has some better stages, but I feel like PS2 is also okay for the most part. But I definitely think that there's some better choices that Amante might have banned. I don't know, but either way, this is already a much better start to the game, even game so far, and getting a lot more out of shield options and just playing this matchup better. Also using Minecart for the first time and feels like the set, even though it completely wasn't. Sinister, Sinister is bringing it back here. And as you're saying as well, also utilizing a lot more of those up tilts for that uh, steep yeah. buildup damage. Maybe this is where they got a little bit more comfortable finally getting themselves warmed up. <gasps> and almost getting that data stock, but good DI coming in from Amante. That can kill us astronomically early, but you can still get that DI going. Oh, and there it is, man. This, that's what we were mentioning a little bit about the up smash, where Yoshi can just kind of double jump armor out of it. I mean, it's a really good option, but still not able to net that kill. Is Sinister maybe the opportunity here? Nope, instead just runs away, continues to bail as Amante gets in with that B-reverse egg lay and oh, the unfortunate no. one. That air dodge, we keep talking about air dodges all the time. It's like... It's like Yay is just infected all of us in this yeah. bracket right now. This, this is the Yay time. effect, bro. Absolutely. And the Yay effect is now coming into play. Amate is going to take that right to the big with so much damage. We're going to get the stock off again. They can get the stand oh. as, as I was staying. Oh, oh that dude. We dude know. went to the big and said, all right, I got a little bit more interest for you. Uh, hop in. Absolutely. Good stuff coming in. But still able to get that parry in to the downs up hey. smash. Hey. Yep. Okay. Oh, made back. Okay, I didn't think you would make that back, but still sinister. Staying alive in this set, but for how long, man? Amante on that second stock shows that he has the momentum on his luck, but sinister playing the character that's kind of designed to stop that with the runaway mining. And it's what he's doing, man. Amante not finding a solid hit just yet instead getting solidly hit by that back air sinister trying to claw this back from defeat but he's gonna have a ways to go they and that way's not happen oh, i was just about to say in so many areas i wanted them to play a little more grounded because when you yeah. force yourself into the air that is where yoshi gets so many of their combos and then jumping in disadvantage just allowed amante to get that same up to exurgent yeah man. sinister Maybe, or, or what's too much sinister system? How, is there a sinister system? Sinisterization? Like, whatever, mm. how it says. Hmm. I don't, they just forced hmm. a little bit on themselves and unfortunately just didn't play that as maybe as high level as they were playing it earlier. Probably a little bit burned out compared to the other sets. But yeah. gonna be moving on to lose. Not completely out of it, but I'm with sure. this one bit going, it ain't impossible. It ain't mm -hmm. impossible. Yeah, but no, that was a really, I mean, honestly, like we talk about how, you know, Sinister just kind of got messed up there, feeling a little burnt out. And he was, but a lot of it also does have to go to uh, Amante. He found really good ways to get in on the different walls, found a lot of really good checks for the tools, you know, the double jump armor out of Yoshi, out of the uh, up smash, just general usage of eggs that we didn't, that we don't really see from too many other Yoshis. And even that down B, man, he used it.